Hey guys, this is Chris and Martha, the Venturesome Couple. We had a request to see uh, what hack we had to utilize the WineGuard 360 Air Plus antenna on the roof without having to utilize the gateway. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the history of our internet. I promise I'll keep it short. So when we first started out on the road before we went full time, all we would utilize is our cell phone. We would tether that to our direct TV and then we would use that for our internet. So cell phone tethered works really well. Uh, just limitations is where the reception is for the cell phone. The next thing that we moved up to is a AT&T wireless internet. Uh, this is a mobile hotspot. It just happens to be a big one that AT&T uses. We found the reception to be much better than what it was on the cell phone just because it has a more powerful antenna. We went a step further and we bought a Netgear MIMO, so multiple in, multiple out antenna, which just means that it has two directions. This is a directional antenna, so wherever direction the cell tower is, you stick it in your window, you hook it up to the back, of the wireless and it gives you just a little bit better signal because it is like i said directional from there we went into the hack of using the wineguard air 360 plus antenna with our wireless uh, router from at&t and then how we did that is we bought two coaxial cables and we bought the adapters to utilize the antennas that were built in. So the antennas for the wine guard are the green and the yellow. So it has two circuits. The red is for Wi-Fi. You can ignore that. Of course, this is the power plug. So what we did is we utilized the green and the yellow and we got the adapters. You see a whole bunch of connections here. We got the female adapter for this into a male adapter into the wire, which then in turn went into the back of the AT&T wireless. As long as your carrier's wireless router has the ability to accept um, external antennas, this will work. It's just a matter of which connection will work with your system. For ours, uh, with the AT&T, we'll go ahead and put the link in the description with all the different options. We bought everything through Amazon, but it's really simple. You go out or in, pardon me, in to the antenna. And then of course you just have this mess of a spaghetti wire. For me, I have the out adapter. This splices into to it, then this, and these just connect up here on the green and yellow. I'm not gonna connect these right now, but that's exactly how you do it. You don't have to turn anything on. It works really well. Once we went full time, we decided to use the WineGuard gateway, which is the direct built-in unit for this exact same thing you got green you have yellow you have red for wi-fi the power goes right here so the gate this is the gateway this is the latest progression it mounts right up here nice thing about this is it's all integrated into your rig so that is in summary our progression cell phone to wireless router to mimo antenna to antenna hack up to these and then onto the net gear. In a future video, you will see where we went from the WineGuard gateway to a Pepwave multiple SIM with a seven in one omnidirectional antenna. So the best that we can do for a full-time RV. I can say my experience with the gateway has been really good. It works. The reception is much better than what it is on the cell phone. Um, I didn't find it to be any better than what we used on the AT&T wireless uh, router. So if you want to do the hack instead of the spending the 200 bucks on the gateway, I can tell you the hack works real well. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. From there, we went into the hack of using the satellite 